god. Oh my god. And we have the opportunity yes, to stay here for two weeks. Oh, yeah. Get lots of action in this town then, yeah? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode from Glen and Mother here from New Zealand. Look at this beauty behind us. I don't know if you can see it. We're still in Taranaki, but we're heading today to Wellington. So this is gonna be a road trip. It's a four and a half hour drive guys. So I just gonna do a bit more weeding here along between the plants. Um, yeah, probably another hour or so. And then we're gonna actually hit the road. And there's Glen. Glen, what have you been doing? So usually this is the stable where the horses are in. Yeah, the horses are here every night. So literally when you go to the toilet, you see the horses out the window yeah. eating their hay at night. Yeah, when this you is the window for the toilet. Yeah, when you're having a pill, you just see horses looking at you. It's very... Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny to be honest. Funny, yeah. So yeah, Glenn has been working here. I was starting painting here on the bottom, but because I don't like leathers, so he painted everything you can beams, see yeah. now, yeah. all the beams, the poles everything here uh in black it's just done and glenn it's just good finished job. mission accomplished good job glenn i'm so stuffed i'm sick glenn was sick you're doing better now i think someone wants to come she doesn't want to leave us <laughs> isn't she cute there was a, a dog that spent like the last two weeks with us but like we're sad to leave so guys like in the next place we're actually doing house sitting which means like we're looking after their dogs which i'm very excited about it some chickens and two cats so this would be so much fun so i'm very excited to explore and meet the people and meet the animals guys we just arrived in south taranaki i think we're in a little i think we're in a little village called Elt eltham and you can see it's a little neat village with some old architecture in town I think we've actually come here through here already. But Madeline also wanted to just pass by a second hand clothing store in a barn design. Very, very neat. But this is a beautiful little town town though. I feel a lot of history here. <laughs> um come inside, second hand clothes, second hand shop. Awesome. It looks pretty cool. We didn't get a lot, but Madeline picked up socks, socks and, and a hat. I won't even need it, but put, it was 50 cents. Put it on. No, it's the coolest hat ever because I'm always cold on my ears and I'm always blinded by the sun. So there you go. I don't even know if I need this, but if you have another job working outside, then I definitely need it. Oh yeah, right time to get back on the road, guys. We should drop off on a. We should stop at another little town somewhere. Yeah. Let's go on a little discovery here on our on our road trip. I prefer not to drive the whole time and also explore coffee shops. A bit of New Zealand culture. Thing about the New Zealand roads, they're always under construction because the roads always have lots of holes in them, so they're always repairing the holes in the roads. And never rely on your GPS because it's gonna take a bit longer than usual. Guys, we just stopped at a little place or town. I don't even know what it's called but the place is called House of Kebab and we're getting like a falafel wrap for lunch and some eggs and salads we have in the car but like we uh, met this Turkish lady the other day on a little yeah, market so. and this is their main kind of place and it was delicious and we get another wrap we're gonna have a falafel falafel kebab what do you get a takeaway please? yeah yeah how long have you had this restaurant open? All your life? Many years? My husband lived almost uh, 25, 30 people. 25 to 30 yeah, years? Yeah. That's a long time. And you feel like the taste the taste of this kebab shop is the same as Turkey or? Nah. No, not the same. My food is best. Oh, it is best? Nah. It's better than Turkey? A homemade food. <laughs> homemade, yeah. yeah. I mean, we prefer homemade food, yeah. That's always the best, the home cooked yeah. meals. Yeah, always the best. Almost. Almost, yeah. Tomato, yeah. That looks delicious. Red cabbage. Red cabbage, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that looks lovely. The chocolate. The chocolate. Bye. bye bye, take care. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> See you, boss. Roy, you got the kebab, the falafel kebab. She's just a nice lady. We met her the other day. She's 
Yeah, we bought a we bought falafels off for actually at the caribou sale. She sell she was selling Turkish food. Yeah. So we really had to come back and just get. Uh, it's on the way, honestly. Like it's just literally on the way. So that's our lunch, and we have some other bits and pieces. And now, let's go. This is really nice. Not the most luxurious place to eat, but this is what it is if you live on the road. Bon appetito! Mm. With the boiled eggs, we got the olives, and we got the fresh salad from the garden before we left. So we are lit. And adding your own avocado to the falafel, how is it? <laughs> so good at me! Go on, Mado! Eating in style there, lunch in the car. Guys, we're in Wanga Nui, which is taking a little break. Glenn was just having a nap, and I walk like around the Virginia Lake, that's where we're currently stopping. And within 10 minute reach, you won't believe it, I've seen a lake, I've seen little cute rabbits. Little botanical garden, and they even have this bird garden. So I said to Glenn, we have to go back and get the camera because I forgot the GoPro. I'm so smart. Yeah, that's what I showed you. Then Glenn was like, What? They're not birds? Yeah, they're not birds. There's literally like a free bird hell? garden. What is this place? Look, oh, and you can even go in there, can you? No? That's pretty insane. Look at them. No, you can. Oh, they're, they're pigeons. They're pigeons, ooh. So but cool. like they're parrots, look at them. This is so cool, isn't it? Look at them. That's pigeons too. Look Hello. At, look at these ones. Hello. Jesus, Glenn. I'm not sure. Oh my god. You can literally touch them. Yeah, you can touch them. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there's a camera there. Yeah. Hello. There's just half a celery up there. Look at this. So oh, cute. look at this parrot. They probably ooh, flew away. Indian ring neck, it's called. Space love board we have as well. Tropical birds. Yeah. Q Only or New Zealand. C, it's That's a, a freaky looking thing. That's cool. Ooh, that was a bit random. Yeah, and there's and a bunch of sleeping next door. <laughs> yeah, see, I've seen so many things in the last 10 minutes. I can't even believe it. And there was a little cute botanical garden. So if you stop on the way, make sure you stop in Wanga Nguyen, go to the Wurchin uh, Lake. We have two and a half hours left, guys. This place is really nice. Wanga Nguyen. This is supposed to be a nice town, though. Is it? Yeah, yeah. You never How see people you know? talking about it. How do you know? You have a YouTube. Uh, Supporters are from this town, they said. Oh, hello guys from Wanganui. Uh -huh. I thought for a second these people are protesting over there. I think they're about voting. Politicians. <laughs> because like it's the election soon, I think. I don't think it's anything in, related, in relation to us guys because we're just passing by, you know? No. They're like, I don't know what this is about. Hello! <laughs> Yo! <Yeah. laughs> It just... <laughs> so we're not promoting any parody here, but I thought this is funny, like how these people are just standing there. On the side of the street, just celebrating guys. Looks like they're having a good time, they're playing some music. Yeah guys, I was looking for coffee, that's my kind of task. It's a bit late in the afternoon. It's a difficult task in the afternoon to be honest, because everything is closed. But, Glenn, I found a really cool place. It's called in uh, Wairika Honey Center. And they open until 5, so we do have some time. Five, yeah, okay, awesome. Yeah, it's uh, another 20 minute drive. And Glenn, maybe I have some honey ice cream. Check out this place. Welcome to Bulls, and there's just a bull standing there. Who calls a town bull? <laughs> That's so weird! <laughs> What the hell? That's bull! A, I think Town it, Bull! Welcome! <laughs> it must be the city of bulls where you get the best source of bulls and where they market the best bulls and the best bull meat and the bull of everything. <laughs> Maybe you don't know, that's where you can buy a bull. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, that's an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand always uh, fascinates yeah, local, me. Always. Local fresh Eggs, foods. asparagus, strawberries. Oh wow, it's even open. We need little, little we shops. Check it out? Oh. Because we don't need anything. Uh, I just like checking these places out. Oh, though. We, we do like to check these that feel so markets cheap, and supermarkets. Well, wow. Why does that feel so cheap? That's uh, 278. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good on. price. What's that even there? There's fuel. Can you even get fuel? Yeah, there. 78. Can you please concentrate on driving? Glenn? What is that though? That's a pretty cool. I 
everything is La Boule Cafe. What the hell? So cool. Bull's Bakery and Cafe. No. <laughs> what the hell? Why is petrol so cheap here? So free. Two seventy nine. What's going on? It's not yeah. fair. This Why? must be the cheapest petrol station in town oh, in, in yeah. New Zealand. Oh, there's another bull. There's another bull. Maybe it's getting cheaper the further south we're going. Hopefully. It's 15 cents cheaper. I haven't seen that. Guys, I think we should make a, a video on prices and update on prices and fuel and everything because it's changed quite a lot. There's an airport here. I don't know if you can see this guy. He's doing backflips and all this plane. Glenn says he's gonna crash. I think we're gonna crash if Glenn keeps looking on the road. Not looking on the road. Please, Glenn, look on the road. Oh, he's around town, Sanson. I need, I need to get a coffee here on the side of the street. And this little place over here. Ah, uh, she's left. She left. She left. I need coffee. Ah. Right, coffee time. How are you doing, boss? How are you? Very good. Can I get a long black, please? Yeah, what size would you like? Uh, medium. Well, large if it's all the same price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at the stunt planes. Oh, wow. We're about to do some backflips, I think. You see the stunt planes? Yeah. That's a frequent thing here, is it? Yeah. yeah. With the base up here, there's always something going on. Oh, wow, wow. You get lots of action in this town, then, yeah? <laughs> First junction. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, there's another uh, stone plane there. Has one ever crashed? Eh? Uh, have they ever crashed? Uh, just mainly on the landing field, eh? They're okay, one, okay, okay. Nothing over the house, no. Luckily enough. They're pretty, they're pretty good pilots. There you go. Coming down very low, aren't they? Oh my god. That little coffee place is actually part of his home, so he just chills out and watches TV all day. So he just stays open very late. And that's not very common in New Zealand to open to four or five o'clock in the day. It's very unusual. Yeah, what did he, what did he say? He's open really late. How it's just, that's part of his house. So he's just chilling now and watching TV in there while he's selling coffee. No way. It's really cool, yeah. yeah. That's really good. You can and, see his home there behind. And see? does he say like he gets a lot of customer in the I didn't say, no. He says he gets a lot of action though with the planes doing stunts all day. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's really cool. Look at them, these kids are practicing windsurfing. This is pretty cool. Oh my god. Oh no, this is actually a sport. This no, is so that. cool. Never seen that we should do that, Clem. Why is this place so cute around us? <laughs> Guys, I'm excited. Why Rika Honey? Where are you going, my Honey Center. Right yeah, it's the Honey Center. Much more than just honey, as I said, guys. Uh, <laughs> if I hope they have like some honey ice cream, it's on the way, so I'm gonna have off. some honey ice cream. Clem got his coffee. I don't know why he couldn't wait for two more minutes. I know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah Clem cool. needs his coffee. Needs his coffee, guys. I need to go inside there. Honey center on the side of the street. Maybe you go, you guys know of this place. I wouldn't say it's very busy because it's on the highway. Everything made out of honey. Pretty good. Honey ice cream. Very nice. Oh, we don't know yet. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna have a look around first. <laughs> okay. There's all the different types of honeys. Peanut butter with honey. That's pretty cool. Guys, you can test all this honey, so I definitely want to test some. Maybe some cinnamon. It's fifty-five dollars for that, Madeline. That's, huh? that's fifty-five dollars for this. Uh, it's expensive, isn't it? Honey and lemon. This is what I need. This is what you need for your throat, Clem. this is honey and lemon. Honey and lemon. Nice combination. Mmm. 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 The reaction mm. is priceless. Mmm. And I want to try honey. Cinnamon. In you go. Dig it out. Oh, it's very chunky. Mm. How was it? How was it? How was it? Oh, I like that. Oh, this is like more like a dessert. Look, they have all these uh, beekeeper supplies. Do you watch this? 
Butterscotch. That's alcohol. Green. That's alcohol. But look, honey wine. Have you seen this? That's fascinating. Look at that. That's $40 for this. Guys, this is like honey paradise. Alright, you want some ice cream? Yeah, yeah. I do, yes. What would you like? What can you recommend? <laughs> uh, passion fruit? Passion fruit. Two skill boys. Fig and honey. Fig and honey looks delicious. You're all popular, so you can't really go wrong. True, yeah, true that. Yeah. Can I pick one for you? Because you take forever. Uh, okay, what, uh, get, what get the, kind did you want? Let's get the fig and honey. And I take Bailey's. Yeah, yeah two and scoops. Which kind? Uh, I take the cup. Oh my god. I haven't good. had an ice cream yet in New Zealand and this is delicious. I made the right decision. And this lady was so nice to let me try it before. And yeah, I got Bailey's and honey and Glenn got fig and honey. Really good. Ew. I don't even know why you got ice cream, you just had coffee. Don't know either. I don't usually eat ice cream. Yeah? Do it was the like moment, it? I don't know, it was the moment, I just thought I'd get one. Be oh. part of the experience. Okay, great. And what do you think about this experience? Do you like it? It's, it tastes honey and figs. It's delicious. For real? Yeah. What's your rating out of 10? I don't know, it's not really sweet sweet. No, it's not too sweet, no. so it's great. Yeah, it's like, it's getting annoying, yeah? Oh wow! Look at this beautiful mountain range here and these clouds. They look like little sheeps. Sheeps? Yeah, look at the clouds. What are you smoking, Madeline? <laughs> Maybe there was too much I had too much sugar in that ice cream. Guys, it was delicious. If you're on that way, you should check out this place. So we're hitting the road and we have another one and a half hours left, and we're just passing this beautiful, this beautiful mountain range. Left. It's up a hill, looking Left. over the water. Oh my what God. the hell, like? 